So today is National Epilepsy Day, and in honor of it, we're shining a light on SUDEP, sudden unexpected death in epilepsy and those who live with it. Now, SUDEP takes the lives of one in every 1,000 epileptic patients. Organizations like the Chelsea Hutchinson Foundation provide help for people who are at risk of SUDEP. They need our support to help as many people as possible. That is why Jacksonville's Black Sheep is doing a cocktail for cause through the month of April. So joining us this morning to talk about ways you can help Morgan Hall, bartender at Jacksonville's Black Sheep. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, good morning, thank you. Yeah, so you actually have a very personal reason for being here and you know, really putting a voice and a face behind this cause. Tell me about it. Yeah, so um, this past December 3rd, 2020, my little brother passed away from SUDEP. Um, he had only been diagnosed with epilepsy for two short months before SUDEP stole his life. I guess SUDEP stands for Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy. And my family was completely blindsided by this tragedy. Our doctors didn't tell us. Um, it's kind of something that's not spoken about. So I'm trying to raise awareness for it and um, get my story out there. Yeah, I mean, that's just about three months ago, a little over. So we're so sorry for your loss. You know, explain to me, it, it happened so quickly. What do you wish you knew about it before, you know, your brother's passing? Or even could he have been diagnosed earlier? I'm sure many of you are wondering. Yeah, I wish that I would have known that there are seizure monitors out there and that there are seizure dogs out there as well. Um, we may have been able to have a faster response time had we had known about these devices or had our doctors made us aware of them. Um, we just are asking for, for, for full transparency with doctors and that they tell people about SUDEP and related issues upon the first diagnosis. Yeah, and you're obviously taking this tragedy and moving forward with it and creating this awareness. Tell me a little bit about this cocktail month through the month of April. What can you do and what does the money help go towards? Yeah, so uh, this cocktail is a Spring Blossom Spritz. It's going to be sold through the month of April, and uh, $1 for every drink sold is going to go to the Chelsea Hutchison Foundation, which provides seizure monitors and seizure dogs to people who need them. Um, so Black Sheep is going to be donating $1 of every cocktail to the foundation. I'll go ahead and make it real quick for everyone. Yeah, start making it, because I got a few questions for you, because, I mean, it looks delicious and it sounds amazing, and anything with Prosecco on top, I'm in. What exactly does it taste like? What can you expect? It's very floral and very refreshing. Um, so it's going to have a lot of that elderflower and apricot flavor in it, so it's very... Uh, fruity and refreshing is what I would say. And it, it's, if anybody has never been to Black Sheep before, you guys have a wonderful rooftop up there. So probably a yeah. perfect drink for the rooftop. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it's going to be very hot out there this weekend. Slash, you know, social distancing, up on the rooftop, get a floral drink. Now that purple gin is so interesting. Yeah. What, explain to me, how does that work? How is it purple? So butterfly pea is a flower, and it's a very purple flower, um, which just, when you extract it, it maintains that indigo purple color. Um, and when you add things like citric acid or other liqueurs to it, it changes the color of it. So say if we were to add tonic water to this, it would turn a very deep magenta color. Um, it's a really fun liquor to work with. I'm very excited that we get to use it at Black Sheep. It's so cool that you guys also, you know, purple, the color first suit up. It's just, it all works out. And it's served in that martini glass. It just overall, again, you know, tell me one last thing. Uh, where can I get it? When can I get it? Yeah. And once again, what this means to you. So it's going to be served at Black Sheep throughout the month of April. It's going to be called the Spring Blossom Spritz. Um, so just come in and get it anytime throughout the month of April and help support this awesome organization and raise awareness for people with epilepsy and families who have lost loved ones to suit up. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us again. We're so sorry for your loss, but I love what you've done here. You've taken that and really push forward trying to do something good. So thank you so much. Thank you guys. I appreciate it.